For every would-be star that arrives in Hollywood dreaming of acting fame, there's an aspiring singer who arrives here in Nashville with visions of standing in the spotlight here at the Grand Ole Opry. A microphone in one hand, recording contract in the other. Now, some of them come with nothing but a suitcase and talent, but some come with more. A famous last name. Tonight I'm drinking, celebrating my life with my girlfriend's gonna rock all night in the city. Meet Tayla, young, sexy, and ambitious. She's one of three hopefuls in the up and coming girl group Stealing Angels, all talented. But Taylor has something that most young Nashville wannabes don't have. My name, Taylor Lynn. Yes, Lynn, as in the queen of country music, Loretta Lynn. Well, I was born to call a dog. In a cabin on a hill in put your heart. I'm Robin Roberts. It yes, is I know. a privilege. Now 74. The first lady of country recently sat down with me at her Tennessee museum for a rare interview to talk about her granddaughter, Tayla. What advice do you give her as her career is starting out? She's got to work hard. Ain't nobody going to give it to her. I don't care whose daughter she is or whose granddaughter she is. You've got to get out there and work at it. You've got to write your songs. You've got to write about everyday life, everyday living. Well, nobody knows where you go. Taylor is heeding her grandma's advice. Oh, that was uh, the other That's night. Shopping her music door to door, singing and playing any venue that will give her group a chance. Taylor admits her name helps, but it can also hurt. If you fail, you, everybody knows about it. You know, it's almost like they want you to. Somebody else determined to make it on her own is 27-year-old Jenny. I'm a girl, so I'm, you, you gotta be great because you're a girl. Her dad is country superstar Vince Gill. Baby, I still believe in you. It's gonna be all right, baby girl. I always wanted to make my own way. I don't wanna, oh, I'm Vince Gill's daughter. Will you listen to my demo tape? And he If it does happen, they'll, there'll be people that'll say, well, she made it because of her daddy, you know? And then if it doesn't happen, well, it didn't happen because of her daddy. <laughs> because of you, she's forever changed. Of course, stepping out of the shadows of a Nashville giant can be daunting. I keep my eyes wide No one knows that better, perhaps, than Roseanne Cash, yes, daughter of the original Man in Black, Johnny Cash. Because you're mine, I walk the line. Father will do the best he can. She recently released The List, her 14th CD in a hugely successful career that spans three decades. Explain to people what the list is. The list is. Explain to them. When I was 18 years old, my dad mentioned a song, and I said, I don't know that one. He mentioned another song, I said, I don't know that one either, Dad. And he became very alarmed, and he spent the rest of the day making this list for me. And at the end of the day, he said, this is your education. What I didn't realize at the time, and what I realize now, is that he was really giving me himself. We tried to make ourselves pay for something we've never done. The list remained private for the next 35 years as she recorded her own music, distancing herself from her legendary father. It's hard for me to sit across from you and feel there was a time when you did not want to fully embrace this embrace this, and embrace the cash name. Why would I go there and what, stir up comparisons to me? I mean, I had to, I think it was important to be rebellious. In 1994, Roseanne's resistance to her father and his calling would give way when she reluctantly agreed to sing with him at his final Carnegie Hall concert. He said, will you come sing a song with me? And I was mad at him for something. I said, no, I don't want to. And then he turned and he walked away. There's just something about his back. And I said, I'll do it, Dad. And everything just dissolved on the stage of Carnegie Hall. Wasn't mad at him anymore. And I realized then that he did that with a lot of things in his life. He fixed them under the spotlight. And that spotlight has shined brightly upon many families and country. 
Legendary Hank Williams was followed by a son, and now his granddaughter, Holly Williams. You can keep the change. And how could we not mention Don't tell my heart, my achy, breaky heart. Billy Ray Cyrus, whose daughter Miley grew up on country music, becoming an actress and worldwide pop phenomenon. How are you doing, baby? The bottom line is still, once that door gets open, you better be good. If you're not, it doesn't matter how the door got open. Just last month, Jenny Gill left her day job and is now touring with her dad. I'm not scared of it anymore. My ears tell me it sounds good. I think if I just keep working hard, hopefully it'll happen. And Taylor Lynn with her group Stealing Angels. Is still dreaming of the day she can make her grandmother proud. I do want her to see me be successful and talk about how much she's meant to me. Life 